here's my tragic looking ass. <laughs> Hi YouTube, it's Lena. This is what I really look like right now. Uh, and I'm here actually before sundown for once. I do a lot of my filming at night because I am a night person by default and my husband at least as right now, works 12-hour shifts, so I tend to spend the evenings that he works with him rather than doing much of anything else. Even if I'm just sitting in the room with him while he's on his computer more often than not, I tend to just would rather be around him than do anything else. But, uh, I'm babbling. Um, I'm also full of caffeine. So. Um, but, uh, I am here today to do my Ipsy! tryouts that I'm reaching for. Uh, I more mentioned this on my Instagram where I've started unboxing my subscription boxes for the month on my Instagram live feed. So if you want to see those, you could check them out there. But to still kind of keep up the review aspects of what I get, I said that I was going to start doing kind of like get ready with me's with at least the makeup products and I will review the more skincare lifestyle, if, if, if it fit funds, instance, stuff like that on my Instagram as well. So, but for Ipsy, I actually had like four out of five makeup products. So this actually makes a pretty good get ready with me. Uh, the only thing I don't have right now is the I Do Care Illuminating Peel Off Mask. I'll just review that on my Instagram. I thought about doing that on here, but that was a little more complicated. <laughs> because I wash my face and stuff before I put on makeup. So I'd have to like stop in the middle of my skincare routine to come on and do a mask. So I didn't, but it's okay. And anyways, um, first thing I have is the Nomad Berlin Underground palette, which this was actually what I chose for my Ipsy, which you can now choose a product every month, which I think is really cool. but. This is what the palette looks like. It does have a mirror on it, but I actually have a desk mirror, so I don't need that. But it is a nice big mirror. I just don't want to, you know, burn your retinas by showing you a mirror in front of my light. Ugh, I look tragic. I need to fix that. I don't normally have this bad of under eye circles, but I just, don't sleep that great and since I woke up early today I didn't sleep for like I only slept for like six hours so I know a lot of people get by with less than that but I'm old and for once because it's during the daytime I don't have to worry about animals waking anybody up I actually left my office door open so that whoever wants to roam can roam after, you know, shutting off a few rooms so that nobody can sneak into, say, my bedroom and go potty. Because I have animals that are technically house trained, but if I don't pay attention to them, the first thing they do is go and, like, pee on a rug. Because they're mad at me. Um, in case you're wondering, uh, this is my eyeshadow primer that I'm trying to use up this year. It's the LA Colors Eyeshadow Primer. For like being three bucks, it's actually really good. Where's my brush? Okay. So I'm just gonna set my eyeshadow primer real quick. Unfortunately, this palette does not have like a cream shade or anything like that. So that is, it's one kind of issue with me. I mean, I have plenty of those shades, so it's not a big deal, but you know, if you're going for an all-in-one palette, it's missing that. I'm gonna bring you in a little closer, which means you're gonna see my breakout up close, unfortunately. There we go. So yeah, forgive that. As soon as I got, the reason why I picked this palette was for the green shades right here. Like those were what initially caught my eye. So that's what I'm going to, I'm definitely going to use those two. And I think I'm going to use this gold shade right here, Helden with it. No, wait, I take that back. That's another look that I was thinking of that would work well with this. I'm actually going to use Love Parade right here with those because I think that'll be pretty. So first I'm going to go with 
Sorry, I actually have like a hoodie on right now. I'm in my pajamas still. I haven't even gotten dressed yet. But first, I'm going to go in with Kretzberg. This light green kind of iridescent shade right here. Here's what it looks like swatched. So I'm actually using one of these uh, sponge tip applicators because that's just what I happen to have grabbed. Comfy? Nut. Normally I use a uh, eyeshadow base as well, like a eyeshadow crayon or something, but I kind of just want to see how these perform on their own. Okay, this shade might not be as pigmented as I thought. And by that I mean I think it's supposed to be sheer. Which means I might take it off and pick another lid shade and use that more as like a topper. I don't know. I can still see my lid through it. I'm going to pick something else, actually. Maybe I will go in with that Helden shade. But that's kind of what these videos are for, or to see me kind of experiment with these palettes and see what works. Well, not these palettes, but with the products that I get from them and see what works and what doesn't. So let's prime again after we remove the rest of that eyeshadow, of course. I might try layering that on top of another color and seeing what happens. Or just using it like in my inner corner. I haven't decided yet. This is my Urban Decay Naked 3, by the way. Which I'm actually panning a different shade in, but because it has that matte, not cream, but that very, very light pink, it works. So instead, I'm actually going to go with the shade Helden on my lid, which is that gold shade right there. That right there. But I think I'm actually going to try layering Kretzberg on top of it and seeing what happens. Just for a lid shade, not necessarily the shadow. One shadow versus the other. Of course, like I said before, I'm used to using a base, so I have to remember that it's, nothing's going to quite be as opaque. I'm still going to see probably my lid a little bit versus when I use like a base. how Kritzberg looks on top of it, but we're going to try it on here first. That's actually really pretty. So let's layer. That is super pretty. I think that might just be more of a topper shade now that I'm playing more with it. I'll focus on the kitty. I, I know she's prettier than me right now. Sorry, talking to my camera. If you get sick again back there, I'm going to be very upset. Literally five minutes before filming, she puked on the floor. I don't know what she ate. I mean, she's a cat. She was chasing a lizard yesterday, so she might have eaten that and eventually got sick off of it. Anyways, that is the two shades layered together. So now I'm going to pull NDW, that dark green shade, and one of only a couple of mattes in here, and pop that in my crease. Like, I really only think there's two full-on mattes in here. Like, the other one is... Oran... I can't pronounce that. This shade right here. It's like, I can't pronounce that. I'm just going to make a fool of myself. It's kind of like matte brown shade, but is this other one? Is this one matte? Yeah, that's matte too. Okay, so Tac 
Achilles, I'm guessing, that red shade is also matte. So three mattes, that's a little better than I thought. But like the black isn't matte. Which I will use a shimmery black to like set my eyelids and stuff like that. I don't really care. But I know a lot of people are very into if I'm going to have a black and a palette, it needs to be a matte. I like that that light green shade layered well over the gold because it still gives this a like, green look. Sweetie, can you not attack my chair? And I'm gonna go with Love Parade in my outer V, which is this like dark purple which definitely has a sheen to it but it's pulling pretty matte when swatched and I will pop more of Katzenberg in my inner corner which after I go in with concealer, I might have to do again. Cause for whatever reason, sometimes when I do my concealer, I end up accidentally covering up like half of my inner corner highlight. I will say Katzenberg in particular is a little dusty. Like, it's kind of flaky, but it's really pretty. And it like, a, once I figured out a good way to use it, like it layers over other shadows really well. Now I'm just gonna do the brow bone real quick. And do my blending of that, my crease shade. I'm gonna add eyeliner and mascara, if I can get it open. This is my Ciate London Fierce Flix eyeliner that I'm going to have to set with that black eyeshadow and smooth out my line with it because I just made it hella crooked. Like I said, now I'm going to set that with the black eyeshadow. Not only to make sure that shit doesn't move because that eyeliner kind of sucks, but Club Knocked, I think it's the name of this eye, black eyeshadow. But because my line is actually kind of crooked today because I did it too fast. amazing how much freaking eyeliner can tie an eyeshadow look together to me mascara this is the ColourPop bff mascara by the way so i will be back after I do a couple of things, the next thing I will be coming back with is this Ciate London powder. Okay, I'm back. Looking a little more human. <laughs> but uh, next we have the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. Yay. Crap, I forgot to remove the seal, but it does come sealed. That's the real secret to getting seals and stuff like that off, is to just keep a pair of tweezers nearby. So I'm going to pop a little bit into the top. And I'm going to apply it on my face. But uh, I have already set my under eye concealer, because not with this, with what I'm panning. Because if you don't set that shit right away, it creases like crazy. At least it does on me. remember this powder being good. I used up a mini of it earlier this year. 
big dust cloud went right in my face. I mostly used it on my under eyes though. I know I used it on my face at least a couple of times, but. That was its primary usage. I remember this being at least okay. We used the last little bit of it down here because I had to take my foundation super low. It is the last day I used it, like it's done now, but uh, there's nothing to, there's nothing that'll make you dislike a foundation more for me than if it doesn't match. <laughs> if it doesn't match and it makes me greasy, those are the two things that really just aggravate the daylights out of me like some people can work that you know super dewy shine uh, I just look like a big old grease ball and that's usually what I feel like too anyways next we have the Ofra and Madison Miller trio but, uh, here is what it looks like and I will say the pan for the blush is crooked. <laughs> like, I don't know how well you can see it, but it kind of lifts to one end. That's gonna drive me crazy for the rest of my life while I own this, so. I'm gonna take this pink highlighter right here, the one that matches me a little better. I swatched them in my Instagram Live video and highlight my face with it. I'll swatch them and I'll swatch all of it in a minute, too. I'm just emphasizing some texture on my face, but most highlighters do that to me, so it's just a fact of life for me. And now I'm going to take the blush and blush up my cheeks. Normally I layer with cream products, but I wanted this to kind of stand on its own. And I did use one of my more diffusey blush brushes. It is the uh, Moda Pro BMX 130 pointed brush that I got from BoxyCharm around the time that I first started subscribing. All right. All right, I'll swatch these three really quickly. Here's the pinky highlights. Here's the blush. And here is the more bronzy highlight that if I went in lightly, I could wear, but I figured I'd go with the highlighter I have to be less careful with. Let me bronze real quick. It didn't come with a bronzer and I really don't feel like turning off my camera again to have to get up again. So I'm just gonna take what is actually a different bronzer repressed in here. It is the, the Balms Take Home the Bronze Anti-Orange Bronzer, which is very light. Just trying to blend up into that hairline because my hairline goes back a tad. <laughs> like not in a I'm balding way, it's always looked like that. I got makeup on my hoodie. Yay! All right, finally is lips. So I'm gonna take off my lip balm real quick. Show you the lipstick and then show you what I'm gonna do with it because I have a slightly different idea for it, and you'll see why in a second. It is the Illamasqua Anti-Matter Lipstick in Solar. Very pretty color. Doesn't really go with the look I put on. So I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Gel Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner and lay down the mauves and layer it up and see how that looks. certainly be testing this lipstick more at a later date on its own but I figured with the palette for this look I needed to tone down the almost like poppiness of it. 
it's even possible. All right, so that is the look. I think it came out pretty darn well, but uh, I will be checking back in at the end of the night to let you know, you know, prop more really how the eye and the face products hold up because the lipsticks, it's just a lipstick. It's going to be gone in like three hours, no matter what I do. But if it does last, I'll definitely let you know. All right, so it's the end of the night and I'm going to come in and let you know what I think of some stuff. It's actually 10 to 10 o'clock right now. I think I put on my makeup at about one o'clock. So yeah, also I'm freaking tired. <laughs> I wanna go to bed. Um, what all did I get? <laughs> yeah, I went completely blank for a moment. Uh, first, you know, palette. Um, it actually stayed pretty well. I am missing some eyeshadow in one spot and I will get close and show you, but it's where eyeshadow is gone from a lot on me. It's just where my eye rubs. But like right here, I am missing a little spot of eyeshadow. Actually, I'm missing a little bit right here too. But those are where my eyes rub in particular. And I bet if I had a base on underneath, that wouldn't have happened or it wouldn't be as pronounced on this eye in particular. So I actually like this palette. I think the color scheme is pretty interesting. I don't really have much like it in my collection that's got those kind of darker, almost grungier tones. Like that's just not something I go for too often. The greens in particular. And honestly, the German Berlin theme are what really caught my eye. When I was picking when I was going through the picks for the month, which I actually, this was not intentional, but they did their, Ipsy did their round of pick a product for October today. And I picked the Purely Serum. I was debating between that and the Ipsy and Betty Boot palette, but I figured they'll probably sell that on add-ons and I don't know if they'll have that serum. So I went with the serum because I really like Purely's. There's, there's been some things that I've been just, you know, oh, it was good, not anything great on, but I've never had anything bad from them. And I've had a lot of good, so I knew I was bound to like that. Next is the powder. And for being at like the nine hour mark, I mean, this looks pretty decent. Like, yes, I'm shiny, I'm always shiny. But here's the thing, I wore my Pro Perfecting Primer today. This is to, this is like a moisturizing primer. <laughs> so my foundation is still intact. I am a bit shiny, yes, but literally, if I haven't looked at my face too much at all today. So if I just kinda, these are some clean and clear blotting sheets that I have. I mean, am I oily? Sure. I'm. My existence is oily, but I got the majority of it with one sheet and that like my makeup didn't pull away or anything like that. So this is a good powder. I remembered it being a good powder and I was proven correct. Next, you know, the Ofra kit. Let's get a good look. It does look like my blush is still intact. And it looks like my highlighter is still intact. That's the one I can't quite tell. Maybe it's just the angle I got on it right now, but this still bugs me, <laughs> this whole like crooked pan thing. I hate it when that happens. Cause like, I think this is like a 30, I, I will have inserted the uh, value for this, but I think this is like a $35 thing. Ofra is way too expensive. I like getting it in boxes, but Ofra is something I would probably never buy on its own especially when they put crooked pans in the palette. But uh, the quality is the quality is nice. Like I said, the blush is definitely still there. I'm pretty sure the highlight is still there, but I'm not quite sure what's highlight and what's grease at this point. And finally for the lipstick, as I'm sure you can tell, I'm not wearing it anymore. <laughs> I wore it, I was like, this is gonna be gone in three hours. And I was right. Now, I will say, this is a really creamy, smooth formula. It's very moisturizing. 
It doesn't seem to have a scent to it. I'll swatch it on its own because I did mix it with a lip liner earlier, so. It's a very pretty color. Much more spring to summer than I should have been getting in September necessarily. I, when I saw this on that, I thought it was gonna be red and I thought that would actually look really good with at least, like red would have probably looked fine with the colors I'm wearing today. Maybe not so much the green, but definitely like the golds and stuff. It would have worked well. This is definitely more like a corally poppy red, maybe? I don't know. But the formula feels fantastic on. And it didn't bleed or anything. It just kind of faded pretty gracefully even through my lunch. So I have no complaints. I liked everything that I tried. So, you know, definitely a good box overall. Like I said, before I still have the mask to try I'll let you guys know on Instagram whether that works out or not so that is it thank you guys for tuning in as always I do really appreciate it and hopefully I will see you later bye